Hey, it's Tony again from Type 5, just out here in the backyard admiring these green giant arborvitaes that have provided a really nice natural fence line for us. Uh, but as you can see here, we're doing some back corner renovations. I want to move my shed from up in the front to this back corner spot. We've leveled the ground, but it's left open a spot where I need to fill in with some more green giants. All right, so to show you what I'm doing, uh, I'm going to need to start by clearing out some of the space to make room for the new trees. Uh, I marked them out already to match the spacing of the previous rows. Uh, as you can see here, the front row is spaced every eight feet. The back row is offset from that. Uh, the previous owner only separated these rows about two feet apart. I would probably stretch that to three or four feet apart if I was doing this brand new. Uh, because these two these trees do get really tall. They're about 15 feet tall now uh, And you do want to give them some room to grow um, But they'll fill in really nicely. So I'll set this up so you can watch what I'm doing to Get these out of these pots and into some new holes and then we'll follow this video up with some drip irrigation uh, And I'll show you the how I'm doing that and the schedule to get these watered uh, through the rest of the season since this back corner is a rather shaded part of the yard, I started by clearing the area a bit with my hedge trimmer to give the new trees a little more space to grow. Green giant arborvitaes like several hours of full sun each day, so they may grow a bit slower here in the shade, but I'm confident over time they will fill in nicely. In order to plant my trees, I started by digging a hole roughly twice the size of the root ball. I'm fortunate to have some really nice dirt in this back corner which will serve these trees well. If you do happen to be planting these in clay soil, you want to make sure that you are not overwatering your trees as a clay hole can act like a bowl that holds the water and can drown the roots if not given enough time between waterings to dry out. Newly planted green giants will need roughly 1 inch of water or about 10 gallons per week. If you have sandy soil that drains quickly or really hot weather, you may need to increase that amount to keep the soil moist around the roots. Before removing the tree to plant it, I made sure that the hole was deep enough so that the top of the root ball would be somewhere between even and one inch above my ground level. I then lightly loosened up the root ball with my hands to make sure that the roots were free to start growing outward. If your green giants come bald and burlapped, I would suggest removing as much of the burlap as possible to inspect the roots before planting them. Once the tree was in the hole, I used handfuls of dirt under and around the root ball to adjust the tree so that it would be standing straight up. Make sure to check from both sides that your main leader is straight because you only get to do this once. Before burying it completely, I mixed a handful of Hollytone fertilizer into the soil. Green giants will grow between 1 to 2 feet in height each year once established, so to help them along, I'll be fertilizing these trees in the spring and fall for the first few years. I'm planting these trees in the summer and will be watering them well, but my best suggestion would be to plant them in either the spring or fall to give them enough time to establish before the heat or freezing temperatures. While I finish this tree, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up below. As you can see, after filling around the rest of the tree, I used my hands and feet to lightly pack the soil around it. I also made sure to rake the surrounding area nice and level before moving on to my next tree. Alright, so I finished planting these six green giants and I'm really happy with the way they turned out. I also ran the drip line to keep them nice and watered, so if you're interested in how to do that, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can catch that video as soon as it comes out. Well, that about does it for this project, so I hope to see you all on the next one.